What's the deal, YouTube fam? Just wrapped up a shoot. We at the wonderful place where all the magic happened at. All the magic happened at. But we about to hop in, man. I had to do this video. Like, I surely, super had to do this video. A nail fix video. A lot of people be asking me, how do you get fill-ins? How do you put a whole new nail on somebody? I'm about to show y'all right now, nice and easy. Let's hop in this video. So I got my nail fixed right here. Um, one of my classmates let me use her fingers. I'm not gonna put her out there, but shout out to her. I mean, I really needed this picture, but you know, I'm in Photoshop right now, running 2020. Um, here go my background. I'm gonna do a Command J first, just so I can have a duplicate if I mess up or anything. Um, next, I want to, let's see. So as you see, like, the nail missing here, we need to fill in right here, fill in right here. You know what I'm saying the fill in right here. So I used to do this the clone stamp tool way, but like clone stamp was not really, I don't know. But the new way I do it is using the smudge tool. So the smudge tool is right here. It's, if you don't see the smudge tool, look for the blur tool and then right click and the smudge tool should be right there. So my strength is on 50. And I'm just gonna make my brush, let's see, about 50 pixels. And all you're gonna do is left click and drag. Yeah. Just like that. And I chose 50 for the strength because I want to do 100 and over drag and I mess up. So I'm just going to rock it to 50. Look at that. Yo, we looking good already. I do the same thing with this nail. Just gonna smudge this up. Make sure you stay in the nail. Make sure your circle is like mainly in the nail. You don't want to be all the way out here and try to smudge because you're going to move the skin. So just make sure your circle is mainly in the nail. Bingo. Now for this nail that's missing, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my pen tool and I'm gonna say that this, these nails are probably even. I'm gonna pen tool this out. I know it's easier ways to pen tool. If any of my subscribers know or anyone watching this video, let me know in the video. I know it's like a way to select and then add and drop points, but I personally, I'm not gonna try to show you guys that method if I've never done that method, so. So once I make the selection, I'm gonna right click. I'm probably feather it by one pixel. I'm gonna hit Command C to copy this and Command V to paste it. And it's gonna make another layer. I'm gonna go to the move tool here and I'm just gonna move this over here. This should be about right. Let's check that out. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of warp this a little bit to kind of fit a little better. There you go. 
thing go? I'm just warping it. Warping allows you like to move points. Um, so I'm just gonna warp it a little bit. Yep. Before and after. We're gonna go on to the pinky nail. I'm going back to the smudge tool. And we're just gonna smudge this up. Make sure you're on a layer one. I'm actually gonna merge this layer down because I'm actually done. No, I'm not. I'm gonna still work on layer one because I may have to fix that. But just continue to smudge this up. Still using the smudge tool. And what I like to do is you want to make sure like you keep the it's like a shadow right here from like the inside of our nail, make sure you keep this shadow so it still look realistic and you're not covering over the shadow. Bingo, brand new set. And I think I'm gonna go in and kind of round some stuff off. Let's see. Fill some stuff in up in here. This rod, take my clone stamp tool and make my brush about 10 pixels. Sample from in, drag across. No, actually, we're gonna go back to the smudge. I don't like how the corn stamp is. Make my smudge a little. And the reason I stopped using the clone stamp tool, as you see, was like, it was sampling areas that were wider than this part of the nail, so it really didn't look right. And I suggest if you're going for like high-end retouching and you need to fix a nail, I suggest, well, if you're doing high-end retouching, it's a high-end client. I'm pretty sure they nail wouldn't be looking like this, but if you're going more high-end retouching, let's just say a nail break or anything, you want to make sure that you keep all the same colors, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you do it right. Like, I'm not going to tell you to use a clone stamp tool and um, do that, but I'm saying how I'm going in detail, we all need to be doing this when we're dealing with high-end clients. You know, we don't just want to make sure the job look okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, we're not going for okay jobs. We want to go for them. I'm coming back type jobs. I'm telling you what it is type jobs. Like, thank you for your service type jobs, you know? So that looks way better. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna take this off of her. I 
and we're gonna go in and do this one too. Same thing, I'm using my smudge tool. Smudge tool is like a one. It's like a finger pointing with a one on there. I'm basically just evening this out, making it look more. Cool, let's go around to this one, check it out. Now I see I'm kind of overlapping my shadow, so I'm gonna go to the, the layer with this finger. I knew I said I was gonna end up doing something wrong. And I'm just gonna kind of round this out a little bit. Yeah, and we're gonna go back to our smudge tool and kind of make this straight line. That's looking good. Come over here, check this one out. You see up here, we kind of missing some spots. So make sure I'm on my hand layer. Bingo, let's come over to the thumb. Thumb looks pretty good. There we go. She got a fresh new set. Fresh new set. I'm just gonna merge this layer down. Let's check it. This is a fresh new set. So just to recap, first thing you wanna do is make that duplicate layer, which is Command J on the Mac, Control J on Windows. After you do that, you wanna take your smudge tool, which is a tool of like a finger, just like this. Strength on 50. This thing right here, I don't know what this is, but it's on zero. And you wanna take it and just drag off lightly. Drag off to your liking. Drag off to your liking. And then make sure you zoom in and check it out and do more dragging. Now, if I wanted to go extra, just add some extra type of things on here. I clean up her hands, like if this was a hand shoot, I clean up her hands, so you got about right there. Right there there just little spots on her hand uh, take this out perfect and then I'll probably do dodging and burning and then extra extra but make sure y'all like comment subscribe to your boy let's keep rocking and I'm in with this this time.